Hi, I'm Amanda with Lumber Evolution, and today I'm going to show you how we'll take our name puzzle files that we created in Illustrator and upload them into the Blowforge and create our name puzzles. All right, so first we're going to go to, into the Glowforge and we have this blank canvas. We're gonna add artwork and upload and just navigate to where you saved your file. So there is ours. So there's our puzzle that we have. And then what I do is I upload the same file again because we need a base for it. So we have this outline right here for our puzzle, but we also need a base. So I'll go and put that base in as well. So the material that we're gonna be using is a quarter inch birch plywood that I purchased from Home Depot. So for those settings, I've done this plywood. Oh, I wanna make sure it's set to cut in this birch plywood. So in those settings that I use are the speed of 145 and then full power and at one pass. So there, and I'm gonna use those same settings for that outline so this one's gonna be our outline and this one's gonna be our base so at this one we just ignore that name because we don't need that cut and then we'll use those same settings there so let's go load the wood and get that going all right and then here we're going to load the wood you want to make sure that it's right below the camera and center all right, so we've just put our material on there. So I go and do the material thickness at 0.2 because even though we bought a quarter of an inch, it's not actually a quarter of an inch. Usually those range slightly. It just depends. Um, they all vary slightly. So we're gonna drag these to make sure that they fit and they fit. Um, you are able to mask these as well. I don't, I've had trouble with the masking not sticking all the way and coming up. So I just prefer not to mask and I'm gonna show in a little bit about how we sand those down. So there, this says it's going to take five minutes and 44 seconds and it auto-focused. You can see the little cube there, so it got the true uh, height. So then we're gonna go over and start our Glowforge. If you want to learn how to create this file we just did, the link to that video is in the description box. All right, now we're going to remove the puzzle from the Glowforge and taking out the outline in the base. And then in the letters, I do not use any of the little pieces left behind. So like the center of the A and the E and the uh, lowercase a. I just throw those parts away. All right, and then here I'm using my clamps and wood glue. Um, you can see what the back looks like of each part and that's what I'm going to put the glue on. So I'm gonna glue the, uh, the outline I wanna make sure I get everything, all the little pieces and everything. You don't wanna leave any pieces unglued. And then we're gonna use the bottom part of that base. So whatever was um, has a little bit more charring and stuff because I want the woods to look even. 
then we're gonna go and make sure we clamp all around it because you wanna make sure that it is nice and firmly on there. You wanna make sure to keep going and pushing them together to make sure that they're not um, off center. You wanna make sure everything's center and smooth so that the edges are all aligned. And once those clamps are all good, you're gonna let that set for 30 minutes and then you can remove all the clamps. Then you can see that everything is nice and stuck on well. Then you can place all the letters back in. They go in very easily. I haven't had any problems with them being hard to get in or out. Next, we're gonna move on to sanding. We start with the 80 grit sandpaper. My husband's helping me today do that part. And I keep all the letters in just to give it a nice smooth surface. And then I just go over them again to make sure that they are nice and smooth. Next, we're gonna move over to the 220 grit. That's gonna leave it nice and smooth. It's um, more of a fine grit just to give a nice finishing touch to the whole puzzle. Next, we're gonna move on to painting and I paint the letters in a rainbow pattern just because I think it's easy for little ones. It's fun, it's bright, and it also helps them um, know the order of the rainbow. Usually I only need to do one coat, sometimes two. Make sure you let them dry completely, usually at least 30 minutes. And there is your name puzzle. If you wanna check out our Etsy shop, we just listed a number puzzle, so you can try that. And it also has the same file for the Amelia puzzle that we just did as a bonus. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and watch out for new videos that we have every Tuesday and Thursday.